Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to our channel, Why Not Now? My name is Steven and this is my beautiful wife, Lisa Marie. And if you guys are new to our channel, we have been living in Mexico going over a little over a year now. And we're currently residing in Santiago de Queretaro, Mexico. And with that being said, this is a long awaited video that we have been promising you guys. And this is the cost of living in Mexico video. Um, we can say 2021, but yeah, the cost of living video, cost of living in Mexico video that we are going to provide for you guys. We have categories and things. We're going to break it all down for you. And yes, guys, as you know, we are going into 2022, so it could very well apply to cost of living in 2021 or cost of living in, in 2022. 2022 in Mexico. Exactly. So guys, you see I have my little handy dandy notes down here. If you see me looking down from time to time, uh, before we go ahead and jump right into it, I just want to go ahead and say to you guys, to those of you who maybe this is your first video that you're just popping in, welcome to our channel. Um, make sure that you check the last video that we did which is actually called farewell or goodbye to Queretaro because we will be moving on to a new city in Mexico yeah. yet to be disclosed guys so coming soon in the future so stay tuned but before we go ahead and move from this beautiful city of Santiago de Queretaro where we have been living here um, for a full year have our temporary residency here mm -hmm. we're going to go ahead and drop a few more videos that like my husband mentioned are overdue and that are informative that we promised to some of our viewers so this is the first one cost of living we're gonna have a, an apartment tour for you and many more things to come so stay tuned guys yeah. so let's start with our first category guys the I'm gonna go ahead and, and start with the monster first right what do we pay for the most in the United States or in Canada or wherever you live throughout the world yeah. our rent right overhead. our overhead costs so husband I'll go ahead and let you jump in and tell us about how much we pay and I'll go ahead and break down the details okay guys so where we reside now over here in Queretaro we are paying 10,000 pesos a month that's for cost of living that includes services and that includes all utilities all services and stuff up to 1500 pesos and that's mm -hmm. more in depth we're going to break that down for you mm -hmm. and what how big is our apartment that we can our apartment down? is a um technically it's like a casita mm -hmm. it's a casita one bedroom okay. apartment um bathroom all the basic necessities that you would need and for us it works and mm -hmm. it's so it's a one bedroom casita and we'll go ahead and give you more details when we do that apartment tour coming up guys on yep. our thoughts of the pros and cons of where we live but we actually live in a very walkable area so it's very actually walkable. a great price for the location that we live in. Okay guys, so let's start with getting in detail about the rent cost. So as my husband mentioned, 10,000 pesos, which is equivalent to guys. Um, again, I, I mentioned this in our last cost of living video. If you didn't see it already, make sure you check it out. We were living in Millennial at the time and we did a very, very detailed cost of living um, video that was in 2020. So I'll go ahead and pin that below as well for you guys. Mm -hmm. But in this uh, particular cost of living, the $1,500 bu budget, which includes all services like my husband been mentioned that's an electric gas water internet and basic cable so that's yeah. all included in our ten thousand dollar a month rent ten thousand pesos yes thank you ten thousand peso a month rent and again at, with exception of as long as it doesn't go over fifteen hundred dollars now i'm not going to get too much in detail with it but guys in our particular situation it gets a little bit warm in our casita because of the airflow and how the the windows are set up mm -hmm. so we did have the uh, landlady put in an air conditioner okay for those hot months we did move in when it was the peak heat so she did put that in for us and the most we've ever spent in excess over that fifteen hundred dollar all-inclusive budget um, was over the course of, so the electric bill runs every, every two, months, two months bi-monthly we had to pay her the most was twenty two thousand four hundred 2,400 um, pesos, pesos and that was again for two months so think of it as 1,200 pesos per month. per month okay and that was during the hot season that was, was, on, was hot. when we ran the AC we were running it constantly. every single yeah. day from the morning well I would say late morning until the, the yeah. evening time yeah. um, that was before we knew that it, it couldn't significantly raise your your cost so we started to, to taper down on that so guys, what I'm gonna do is include 400 pesos on average excess over our uh, all-inclusive budget because I feel like sometimes we, we didn't pay anything extra. Sometimes we only paid a few hundred pesos. So I wanted to go ahead and include that in. Yep. So we're gonna say 400 pesos excess additionally onto that $10,000 10, 10, 10, peso uh, monthly rent. Yeah, so 10,400 pesos Which a is month. about $20 extra per month. So mm -hmm. let's just say um, on average, Ten thousand and four hundred pesos with the excess, give or take, if we have the excess. Okay. Um, 
next category would be grocery now guys when i say grocery it's going to be very broad um that encompasses for us as i've said before in our previous videos and our previous cost of living household toiletries cleaning supplies our dog food mm -hmm. if you guys who don't already know we we make our own dog food at home so it's just pretty much the same grocery that we use for us chicken fresh veggies brown rice things of that nature that's all included and whatever we want pretty much so when we want yeah. like sweets or ice cream or whatever little thing com creature comforts we want at home this is all encompassing for us again yeah. this is our personal cost of living your expenses are going to be different we're just sharing our experience here our cost of living here. over here in mexico yep. so for us our grocery would be in pesos husband would be 7,202 pesos. And that's an average approximate over what we've seen over the last few months. Yep. And that breaks down to three, about $348 USD, guys. Monthly. So, yes, yeah, monthly. monthly. I'm going to put all the figures and everything at the bottom of the screen too, guys. So. Yes. So, entertainment will be next. So, I'll have my husband jump in on that one because typically um, we would normally spend maybe an extra, you know, like a hundred USD, which is about 2,000 pesos, give or take, mm -hmm. extra a month if we decided to, like, maybe get some tacos. Because we don't eat out in these fancy no, restaurants, no. guys. We try to be simple. We might go to a cafe if it's affordable and things like mm -hmm. that. Um, but lately, <laughs> lately, over the past few, several <laughs> few months, we've, yeah, we've we, been out, of, we've gone over our budget. Yeah, we've which been is, going over our budget because we've been um, from meeting up with people or just going out doing certain things. Um, visiting some Pueblo magic yeah and going trying to have certain stuff like that yeah different experiences stuff like that and just trying out different foods and also getting content for you guys kind of might well just say getting content for you guys mm -hmm. we've gone over our budget we normally don't like my wife is saying we normally don't do all that all the extra expenses but we do spend some money and we do have fun at the budget that we normally have mm -hmm. spending so and the extra that we've we've gone we've gone over in the last few months, you would say by we're bringing the content, we're going to have maybe some little dinners here and there yeah. in mid-level places would be what? Yeah, um, I would. It's it's over like maybe it'd be like maybe two hundred and fifty. Yeah, give or USD, take. USD, give pesos, or take. That's about and pesos, that's five thousand one hundred eighty-nine. Yeah, give or take. So, and, and keep in mind, guys, we go around. We 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 look for deals, even though we're when we are spending money, mm -hmm. we're looking for tortas and tacos and plates that's like one hundred and forty pesos on the high end. Like we we're looking for those things, but in some places that we go or if we meet someone, you don't have the option. So you're gonna be spending two hundred and thirty something pesos on a plate or even more. But we are we're always looking for deals when we're when we're out spending money. Okay. So next category will be our cell phones. We have our two cell phones. Phone. Yep, we have two phones, and it's same as as it was last time, guys. We have Telcel. Telcel is a service provider down here that I would recommend for anybody to have. We have the packet. We have the Amigo packet, and you just go in there. You get the SIM card. You pay for the SIM card, and also you pay for the Amigo packet, not the plan, the paqueta. What's the difference between the packet, the, the, the packet, and the, the plan? Pa the paqueta is more of no contract no contractual thing with you it you just kind of change it if you feel like you're spending 200 pesos a month and you're like no i'm not using that much data you can drop it down to 150 mm -hmm. pesos if you feel like you're spending one of, if you feel like you would like to do more data you can up it up to 350 and pesos month to month, month to month it's changed and it's normally do when you have it hooked up like on the fifth that what they recommend to start it like on the fifth of the month and you just pay it you can pay it online or at me tail sale or you can go to oxco or a you Walmart, can go to Walmart. Has a yeah, you can go to a lot of places. But just so you understand, it. guys, it's not like a contract where it's like, oh, if you start it on the fifth of the month, you're going to pay it on the fifth of the month. If no. you have a month that has 31 days, it's exactly. only for 30 days. So you're going to have to count those great, days. Great, yeah, great point. It tells you it's for 30 days validity. That's what it says. So you have to come back, and you normally get a text message saying that. Um, yeah, it's, it's due, due. Mm -hmm. and 200 pesos for you guys that don't know that's like 10 bucks yeah that's like 10 bucks so for me my wife and I we're paying 20 bucks a month mm -hmm. for yeah, us 20 for USD and that and we each have about three gigabytes of data three gigabytes we data. haven't gone over yet no and we've had well, this been, now it's for been, a it's, year yeah it's, and it's been closed because we um, when we first were down here of course we were going around checking things out using our data and stuff like that but yeah it's been a, and been a we year. also traveled to atlanta georgia a few months ago and that was close because we were using it all out there as yep. well and it worked over there in the states because i think it works up to three to six months or something they were telling us yeah you can keep you your number there. yeah you can keep your number and everything <laughs> but yeah that's, that's that's not bad twenty dollars for two lines guys like that's amazing that's, compared that's, to what we were paying great. before yep um 
even though I don't like making comparisons because we're living in Mexico, so that's it's obviously it's going to be different. So Uber, okay, guys. So Uber, so transportation costs. Um, we were very selective in where we chose to live before we lived in Millennial, which was a very walkable area. But we want when we wanted to get to Centro Historico, mm -hmm. for example, um, and do certain things, or maybe we wanted to go and to go check out Hurinquia because we were doing some videos. Hurinquia, Hurica, all those places. Yeah. All those places, exactly. We noticed that it was a little bit more difficult um, to 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 get an uber not that you couldn't get an uber but there were times where the prices would kind of go up because as you guys know with uber there's no set fee it depends on demand the how many drivers are out there you know where you're leaving from because maybe where, where you're leaving from may be cheaper but when you're coming back from Houdin Kia, for example they're going to jack the prices up according yeah. to the area so yeah Houdin Kia, Houdin Kia and El Refugio <laughs> and um Zabita and all those places yeah. Cibata. They're, Cibata. <laughs> they're the worst with uber i'm gonna be honest with you because you it's it's hard to get them so i i just recommend if you're going to use uber uber works great when you're in santiago de Querétaro, like the metro, in, in the area, metro yeah. area of the city mm -hmm. yep. okay guys so for uber transportation costs we kind of just did an average honestly yeah. we walk to a lot yeah, we, we we're a lot always of walking. walking a lot of people always say oh my god you guys are always walking around um we I, I would say give or take if when we have to go out to further to areas that are not too far like like a hurinquilla or a Hurica, mm -hmm. Hurica, things of that nature um we would probably say give or take uh or if we have too much grocery that we can't carry yeah that's it would be it. about 40 usd which is about how much per month has been that's in 841 pesos okay. 841 pesos a month and that's 40 usd a month and that's that <clears throat> fluctuates because sometimes we don't even really use uber at all right right so, there are months where we, we may we may not even we use it like yeah, twice but yeah. it just depends and i may wake up sometimes feeling lazy and i'm like i don't want to walk that little distance so it will be real hot I, I, I just go ahead and get the uber but yeah we don't really use uber a lot so that's what i recommend too when you move down to mexico or move down to mm -hmm. mexico or anywhere over there make sure you get to a place that's very walkable for you especially if you don't plan on having a car and you are a person who wants to go down to centro historico you want to check out different things guys excuse the background noise as you guys obviously know we're out in the middle of a park here we're always outside so and we have healthcare now as you guys who have already seen our uh, previous cost of living last year you know that we didn't mention healthcare because we told you guys we don't we don't have health care that still applies we don't have health care we don't feel that we need to pay for health insurance private health insurance there is um, a private health insurance here there is public health insurance here which is called EMS IMSS I believe uh, is one of them I'll um, put it down below. a whole a whole other topic guys there's actually a website for that and we don't we haven't got thank thanks thanks yeah. thanks thanks to god that we haven't gotten ill yeah. and um we did have some issues with uh our teeth so we needed to go and follow <laughs> up with the dentist yeah. more so me than him yeah. <laughs> but still both and what i wanted to do is i wanted to include that into like a health care expenses category just because we did spend a significant amount in our opinion which we normally wouldn't do so for the dental um i had about i'm looking at my notes again guys I had about nine uh, old silver fillings that I needed to have replaced. Okay, they've been in there for a long, 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 de long time, decades. And for me, um, I had found a dentist that was working out of a small hospital, so it was very cheap. Uh, we initially had gone. If you guys haven't seen our Check one that of video our out. Uh, d d dental cost uh, video, it's kind of more of like a vlog. We, we were yeah. in Alameda Park and we were talking yeah. about our experience. story time. Yeah, story time exactly and um they were charging us way more guys you guys can go check it out and see what we were talking about there but this particular dentist that we found on the second go around yeah he was charging us uh, about 500 pesos per filling so he was replacing it with the um the same colors your tooth the matching the resin mm -hmm. um <clears throat> and that for me was for about i would say about nine fillings i paid about uh give or take it was i think it was nine or ten fillings right mm -hmm. um 4,500 pesos for me in total, which came out to approximately 217 USD for my husband. He had about five mm -hmm. uh, fillings. Uh, maybe two of those were more so cavities, but the price was the same regardless. It was 500 pesos. And then he had an, an onlay done as mm -hmm. well 
for him he paid uh, 2,500 pesos which was about 120 USD in total that was 7,000 pesos which for us together um, for that for those multiple visits over a course of time was about 337 USD give or take so what I did with that amount was I just divided that by 12 months so and added it to our yearly health care expenses you know given that we didn't have any but we did have a significant health care expense with our teeth this time yeah. and that came out to about uh, actually 28 USD for both of us together yeah, a 581 month. pesos thank you yep. husband so that's that guys yeah. um, moving on to vet uh, expenses we do have two small dogs you guys have always seen our little guys in videos we have a Yorkie and a Morky Joe Pesci Joe Pesci is our Yorkie if you haven't checked out that video uh, I suggest you do because it has a wealth of information he had a number of tests on he was having some seizures so mm -hmm. we talk about the cost of the medication the cost of the testing he did he did um, a cat uh, a, scat, a cat scan he yeah. had a neurologist examine him so we talk about those costs but we do pay a monthly expense for his medication, which is one of the medications he uses for his for seizure prevention is 330 pesos. And the other is about 340 pesos. That's about uh, 670 pesos, which is about 32, 32 USD, USD per month for two medications for a little guy, Joe Pesci. And um, again, check out that video for the vet expenses and testing costs, because that's I, I think it's a great video for you, yeah, for yeah. you pet parents out there. Yeah. All right. This is the one that um you hear early in the morning if they come about your house you hear aguaciel <laughs> you, know, you know they come ring your bell say aguaciel and that's just this one is, of the many people that, that bring water they yeah. can deliver to your door you can buy it at the or you local go to the store. Oxo local stores buy it. yeah we, um you can get agua you can get ciel bonafont and um, there's a couple of newer ones out ones. here that's coming out but the, yeah the average for a gatafone give or take gatafone de agua through. are about 30, 39, 40 pesos. 40 pesos. Yeah, over here in Caracas, Mexico. That's how much they charge. So yeah, the guy come by for us where we are. He comes by and um, he replaces it if we need to be replaced. And I give him a little tip, and that's 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 what we do. So on average on that one, we're spending close to 200, upward to 200 a month. 200 pesos. Pesos a month, because he may come by every weekend. Then I may go to the store and buy another one to just have a, a backup, a reserve. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that, that's pretty not. That's really not that bad. And that's like what ten bucks, nine bucks. Under, it's right under ten bucks, ten USD, guys. Mm -hmm. And we we probably use about, I would say one and a half gatta phone. If we're doing a lot of cooking with boiling water and like yeah. making pastas, it would be closer to two, two full gatta phones per week. But more so one and a half gatta phones per week, guys. So that's yeah. what our expenses for the month there, like my husband mentioned. Yeah. Last, and I wasn't even going to include this, but then I thought about it because I know some people had asked me before about like haircuts and things like that and mm. coloring hair. I'm going to be sure up with you guys like I was before in our last our last cost of living video. We don't do all these, you know, we don't do that. Maybe well, I have a birthday coming up. Maybe I will, but you know, just get a little trim or something like that to, to save myself the headache. But we do it. We cut our own hair at home. My husband, he cuts his hair <laughs> at home. He shaves his head bald. Don't I look nice. <laughs> Whenever he wants to feel extra spiffy, I'll dye his beard for him. Yeah. Um, I dye my own hair at home. I, I trim my own hair. Nothing fancy, guys. But uh, when I do go, I love, everybody knows I love Sally's Beauty Supply. It's very affordable and I get my products there. So, or I get things for him for his beard there. Yeah. Um, I will go there and honestly, maybe I'll spend like 20 USD like every three months. So, I that's pretty much like $80, $80 USD per year give or take so I broke it down like as a monthly expense for like self-care or whatever you yeah. want to call it um, that's about you know about six dollars six dollars and sixty five cent a month yeah which for, is a, which is about 139 pesos yeah. a month for, for the both of us really yeah because I you know I'll buy the dye and then I'll use the same developer you know exactly. for his hair and things like that yeah so. we don't we don't do these manicures and all these things but I'm pretty sure they're re they're pretty reasonable over here I've seen signs saying 100 pesos or I don't yeah. know. So, and, and for haircuts too for ladies. Yeah, haircuts. Yeah, haircuts for ladies and haircuts for men. Like you get haircuts all day over there on Zaragoza. I see uh, barbers How and stuff over they, there. How much Yeah, about 80, um, 80, 80, 80 some pesos. pesos or 100 pesos in total. Four or five for bucks? The whole thing for everything. So that's not bad. Yeah, four or five bucks. 
So guys, we've come to the end. The total is, so our total is, now again, this is an approximation, guys. It can go mm -hmm. a little bit up and go a little bit down. It can fluctuate. But this is based on the fact, um, I based all of this on the higher amount. Remember I told you guys that we kind of were going over our our entertainment budget the last few months because we've been doing a little more traveling and trying mm -hmm. to share more content and, and, and bring some more enjoyable experiences, uh, which we normally wouldn't do as much or eating out as much, but Based on that, we've spent for the for uh, uh, average monthly on the higher end is twenty five thousand six hundred twenty two pesos, which comes out to be approximately, give or take, in USD. Yep, one thousand two hundred and thirty five dollars USD. That's that's it. That's and, those, these are our expenses, guys. And these, yeah, these are our expenses, and this goes back to like what we were saying the previous time. Last you can year. live last year in millennial, you, which actually we were paying a higher rent there. Yeah, we were paying a higher rent. Mm -hmm. You can live down here comfortably. For 1500 pesos 15 not 1500 pesos i wish <laughs> 1500 usd a month in my opinion you just had to cook at home and be frugal and do yeah. all that but everybody's lifestyle but we, is different but, and then we always we reiterate that we're not one of those people that go around and do like cook bait and say uh you know living in mexico for two thousand a month or yeah. whatever we don't do that because we know that everybody has their own um, standards of how they would like to live. Their own standards, their own uh, vices and things like that, yep. you know. So this is for us. And as far as your base, when I say basic necessities and a little more, that's what my husband's talking about when he says you can live here for 1500 a month, meaning you're not going to starve. You're yeah. going to you're not going to be, you know, having to use an outhouse for a bathroom. Yeah. I'm just joking, you, guys. You would be able to go to the You're good. Yeah, you better go check out a movie. You better go do these things. You better yeah. go out and eat every not once in a while. Time. And, not all the time. Not all the time. And, but, and yeah. paying attention to your budget, of course, but you will be able to, to live a decent lifestyle in yeah. our opinion in our, opinion, our yeah. personal experience yeah. so we hope you guys uh, appreciated this video again apartment tour coming up of our casita so you guys can see that yep. and a few more informative <coughs> videos to come uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and mention them but we have a few more that, that are coming before we actually officially say our farewell our goodbye to Santiago de Caretero guys but stay tuned because our same values our same ethics that we have here for, for yeah, those of you who have been following us since day one you know we do neighborhood tours we show you not just the glitz and the glam we show you neighborhoods we actually have walked the neighborhoods with the mm -hmm. camera for 30 minutes straight showing you guys um, we've done you know videos on how to hook up utilities how to get your temporary residency I have a full two-part video showing you from beginning to end I've heard actually from a few of our viewers recently that have thanked us I want to say hi to uh, Tanya Rush she's out in Atlanta oh, she yeah. was out in Atlanta Georgia she's gonna be living in Guadalajara okay. and she sent a thank you on one of our videos for t of temporary residency she actually got her permanent residency mm -hmm. and uh, we, congrats. Congratulations, congratulations to you Tanya yep. so we hope that we're able to continue to help you guys if you guys want to contribute as we've always mentioned guys make sure you check the pin comment below uh, to talk to see what how you can help us and what that would all go to we big big thank you to all of you who have continued to support us through this journey it hasn't been easy and when I say support us I don't mean just by contributions although we're very very thankful I'm talking about simply hitting a like button yep. I'm talking about like. sharing our content I'm talking about posting an encouraging comment and telling us how it helped you you know just giving feedback we appreciate you guys and we love you guys and we're so yep. thankful and we hope to continue this journey um, on to our next city we're gonna spend a minimum of six months there if not maybe longer and then we'll see where else it takes us but we're here to expose to show you Mexico. the real Mexico the beautiful culture the people here and uh, and break down those boundaries guys yep all right guys we're gonna end the video as always as we always do guys we ended the same way right yep. live the life that you were meant to live keep a grateful heart and remember why not now all right guys peace